Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today I have excited news for you. Skill? Really? We saw the thumbnail, that was a nice kick into the crouch. Oh yes, I know fellas, I know. Listen, Kranwagen getting nerfed, at least this is what our gaming is proposing and there is a lot of a lot of uh, changes coming overall, right? So first of all, let's start our journey and let's see what do we have. The most important thing is Kranwagen fellas, the tank which a lot of people are yelling it is broken as F and Wargaming is going to spank him. Fellas, I told you let's have a bit of the hope. One day Wargaming will wake up and they will notice some tanks are more equal than others. And you know what? It is happening. The rebalance fellas are starting. Anyways. Those are the changes which we're gaming is suggesting for a super test or pushing to the super test. Pretty much uh, this is the first uh, correct step to uh, cut the balls of some vehicles which are way too powerful. So first things first, cranked <clears throat> speed nerfed from 60 to 45 kilometers per hour. It is 25% cut for speed. Balls are getting significantly lower or smaller. Maximum backward speed from 18 to 12, 33% decrease. This is huge. Dispersion from 0.36 to 0.4. Gun dispersion during the Tura Traverse. It had good one. Now it is going to be, ay, 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 Dios mio. It's like 80% increase. So whenever you are uh, turning the turret your bloom is going to be bigger. Reload time for tw from 21.5 to 25 seconds. <laughs> Fellas, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, we never thought the day will come, but look at this. The Kranwagen balls are getting cut. Beautiful. What other change do we have? We have AMAX. Uh, so what is happening? They are buffing AMAX heavy tank. Right side armor from 60 to 85. Total hit points from 2.2 to 2.4. Whole traverse speed is getting nerfed a bit. Gun dispersion on the movement is getting buffed. That's good. Ak it's going to be more accurate so you can snapshot a bit better. Now the gun starts. Let's see. The second shell penetration of 130 um, millimeters... Um, Caliber gun from 280 to 296. Still not ideal, but it's better. Reload time. DPM is increasing on the tank, so you are doing the things better. Beautiful. The first shell velocity is getting increased. Nice. So that's that means shells are flying faster. Now, uh, second shell velocity. I will translate that to you. Shoot gold, you will have faster shell velocity. Okay, I will make it very, very simple to you. Also, dispersion is getting buffed as well. Beautiful, fellas. Looks like... I'm my X can be actually a very, very decent tank after this. Um, speaking about the other gun, other gun is getting kind of, uh, uh, I mean, it is not ideal, let's say like that, but uh, it is getting some buffs for, let's say, penetration and for DPM, but shell velocity is uh, is pretty much getting cut a bit. So that means what we're gaming is doing, we're gaming is pushing you to use 130mm gun. Now, moving on next, and this is the weirdest thing. In my humble opinion, a MX Tier 9 is pretty damn strong tank overall, okay? It is one of the best tanks in the game, in my humble opinion. So what do we have? Hull travel speed. They are cutting hull travel speed a bit, but 2 degrees you won't even feel it, okay? You are not going to feel that, fellas. But, gun dispersion... On the movement travers, fellas, they are buffing the gun handling on the tier 9 um, MX. So that tank is going to be more powerful than it was before. And in my humble opinion, this tank was already powerful. So that's pretty damn interesting news. And moving on next, MX 65T, the most powerful tank in the world of tanks history, fellas. As you can see, the tank is getting buffed for the gun handling. It's still going to be probably horrible. Um, the total of the hit points, you're getting 50 more HP. And the reload time, aka DPM is getting a bit better. And aiming time is getting a bit better. So, yeah, very, very, very interesting, fellas. Looks like we're gaming is buffing the tanks, which are absolutely pile of kaku. And looks like they're buffing tanks, which is pretty damn good already. Uh, which doesn't make any sense, but... Uh, 
um, why would I say something, right? And most importantly, they are cutting the balls off the um, of the. Uh, bloody crown wagon, which is awesome. Moving on next, we have AMX tier 7. So pretty much they are making the armor a bit thicker by the looks of it and they are gi giving a bit more hit points. That's not bad whatsoever. And now looking into all of this fellas. Um, I checked the things out and looks like they want to nerf more tanks and they gave just a small brief of this what we what is going to happen next. So let's see into all of this. Right? I'm not going to go through everything. If you want to read it, uh, stop it. But the most important thing. List of the vehicles to be Rebel Lancet, Spoiler, Kranwagen, Emil, Amax, 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 M103. Does it mean M103 is going to get buffed? T32. T32 is already pretty strong tank. Does it mean the T32 will get buffed or nerfed? This is the question. M6 and T1 heavy, as you can see, um, those are the those are the things which were gaming is suggesting. But now this is not all of it, fellas. Moving on next, what do we have? We have some more tanks which will be changed, right? It is over there. So uh, T6 medium M3 Stuart. Tier 6 M44. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, looks like, looks like M44 balls will get cut as well. And yes, if you like the lower tiers, you know how the things are looking like in the lower tier matchmaking. I can explain that to you. So hopefully M44 is going to be nerfed as well, right? Moving on next, look at those gems. Czechoslovakian, TVP Vatau, Defender Killer, fellas. Looks like this tank might get buffed. After that, we have a tier 8 and tier 7 cows of the French line. After that, we have Kova 1S, we have Sherman, we have Type 58, uh, Škoda. This is definitely nerf incoming. Škoda is way too powerful. Nerf for Škoda. Probably nerf for Polish Boogie. Probably nerf for Polish CS44. Um, Maybe nerf for BDR. Nerf for T67. Eh, my lovely T67 lovers. Looks like uh, T67 might change very soon. Uh, tier 4 American T40. Chinese Su-76. And Soviet um, Su-85B. So yeah, fellas, looks like a lot of changes, a lot of changes are coming. And you know what? Oh, we can see that clearly. Improved characteristics. They are going to buff those tanks. Great. And now decreased characteristics. Yes, boys. T67. Cut balls. BDR. Cut balls. CS44. Cut balls. Polish boogie. Cut balls. Czechoslovakian Škoda. Cut balls. Yeah. A lot of news are coming and this is very, very exciting thing. Now, hear me out, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I think I might be optimistic, but I think Wargaming started uh, listening to their community, fellas. I have a feeling they actually started looking into the tanks, which is which are significantly better than other tanks, right? And the tanks which are significantly worse than, let's say, average vehicle, right? So, uh, you know... Fellas, I'm here to all the time to highlight uh, bad things which your gaming is doing, okay? This is what I do. But you know what? For... I can't say that too often, but... Uh, I can tell you one thing, for this kind of balance things, for starting to think about the game health and everything, thumbs up. Honestly, thumbs up, fellas. What do you think about all of those nerves, buffs, and so on? Do you agree with this? And uh, can we have F in the chat for T67 lovers out there? My lovely silk lovers, unlucky. What can I say? And now, thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great time, and I hope you enjoyed yourself. And super hot news, fellas. Skills out for today. See you tomorrow. Peace. Brrr.